Smoking and vaping among kids. Unfortunately, it's not stopping. In today's Health Matters with TSET, News on 6 health coach Dottie Small explores its evolution. We know cigarettes and vaping are bad for us. So what makes these still so popular among kids today? Let's talk about it. Dr. Brown, we're here today to talk about tobacco use in kids, specifically cigarettes and vapes. So what can you tell me about that? So ever since tobacco has been around, it's, it's, it's been an issue with kids. I mean, tobacco has been around forever, uh, but it wasn't until you really remember the Marlboro Man, you know, the 30s and the 40s and the 50s. Anybody that's watched Mad Men knows the, the marketing that was there. You know, it wasn't until probably in the early 2000s that we started seeing the vaping technology come into play that we see that we see nowadays and in that first was like an alternative to tobacco but now it's become more of a a cool type thing for the kids to to do in order to get that nicotine hit or addiction what happens in a child's body every time they take a hit well it's it's a, it, it can, it's a stimulant and so just like any other stimulant it can give them a, a euphoria it can give them a little bit of a high um, and you know when we look at science it really affects their brain metabolism I mean kids brains really aren't fully matured until they're 24 25 years of age marketing always told us at some point or another it's healthier option that can't be true it's not really the healthier option they say that in because they say well it has less poisons it has less carcinogens it still has that in there it's still nicotine at the at the core and that's an addictive drug not only for adults but for kids so we're talking about mood issues we're talking about mental health issues we're talking about cancer that can affect them just with the with a small amount of liquid that they get really it can go undetected what can schools and parents look for it's it's tough you know as it, as teachers go you know these kids are now sneaking in, into the classrooms as as what it looks like a usb drive or a highlighter if you're an adult or a teenager or a middle schooler and you feel like you have an addiction reach out to somebody don't go from cigarettes to vaping go seek medical help to kind of help what's our game plan to do this in a way vaping there's not any FDA approved or any literature out there that says that vaping has been shown to decrease an addiction to cigarettes. We say that, but there's no literature or proof to show that.